determine whether each augmented matrix is in reduced row echelon form. These are our matrices. In order for them to be in reduced row echelon form, we must 1, the first non-zero number in each row is 1, and 2, above, below, and to the left of the first non-zero 1, there are zeros. This is inside the coefficient matrix. So, in our first matrix, uh, a, we have 1, 0, 2 in the top row and 0, 1, negative 1 in the bottom row. The first non-zero number in each row must be 1, so we have 1, 0, 2, meaning it is 1, and 0, 1, negative 1, meaning it is 1. So our second criteria is above, below, and to the left of the first non-zero 1, there are zeros. So our first one has nothing above it, nothing to the left of it, and a 0 below it. And our second one, on the bottom row, has a 0 above it, a 0 to the left of it, and nothing below it. So this is a matrix in reduced row echelon form. In our second matrix, we have 1, 0, 2 over 0, 2, negative 1. In our top row, we have 1 as our first non-zero number, and in our bottom row, we have 2 as our non-zero number. So, this is not a matrix in reduced row echelon form. In our third matrix, we have 1, 0, 2 over 0, 0, negative 1. Our first number, non-zero 1, in our top row is 1, and our first non-zero number in our bottom row is negative 1. So this is also not a matrix in reduced row echelon form. Our final matrix D, we have 1, 0, 2 over 0, 0, 1. Our first non-zero number in our top row is 1, and our first non-zero number in our bottom row is also 1. Now, our first non-zero 1 is got nothing on top of it, nothing to the left, and a 0 on bottom. And our second non-zero number is in the second half of the matrix, not the coefficient part of the matrix. So it doesn't count, therefore this matrix is in reduced row echelon form.